Okay, now in this video, we will be looking at telling the time to the hour again. So at the moment, we are looking at the time saying long hand pointing up towards the 12. So that long hand, if you remember, is the minutes. That's pointing up towards the 12. And then the shorthand is pointing to the hour. So we're looking at 8 o'clock. So 8 o'clock here. How would you write that down? Well, let's have a look. Okay, so here's my example of writing down 8 o'clock. So if you were to write down the answer, this is what you would do. So here we have the correct spelling of the word 8. Then we've got O apostrophe clock because it's 8 hours of the clock. So the apostrophe is representing those missing parts of that traditional sentence. Underneath, I've written it as a number, 8 and then o'clock. So if you want to know how to write it to give your answer, that is the example that I'm giving you, and that is how I'd expect you to write it in class. So what are you going to do next? Well, I'm going to show some times for you. I'm going to run through two examples and then and give you the answers, and then I'm going to ask you to write down the answers as I've modeled just here, so you are able to have a go at telling the time to the hour. Okay, so here is the first one. Watch that minute hand go round clockwise, and this is our first time. What is the hour hand? That's the short hand pointing towards. Our long hand is pointing towards the 12. So what time is this? Write it down as I showed you previously in the video. If you're not too sure you want to copy, then rewind it a little bit. Hit the pause button and write down that time. Right, okay, the time is nine o'clock, nine o'clock. Let's get ready for the next one. Watch that minute hand go round, and there we have the next time. So what time do I have here? Write it down as I showed you. Off you go, hit that pause button. Okay, now the time is 10 o'clock. So we've got the hour hand pointing towards the 10. It is 10 o'clock. Now I'm going to give you a few examples here. I want you to write down the time. I'll ask you to pause each time um, and then I will post the answers later to see if you've got those right. Okay, are you all ready? Off you go. Okay, so this is the first one. Look at where the hour hand is pointing, or what is the time? Hit that pause button and write it down. Okay, now here is the next one. Hit that pause button, look at where all the hands are pointing, look at where the small hour hand is pointing, write down that time. Okay, here is the next one. Just like before, hit the pause button and write down the time. Okay, here is the next one. Can you please write down the time here? Hit the pause button whilst you do that. Right, okay, here is the new time. Hit that pause button and write down what time you think it is. Okay, here is your new time again. Hit that pause button. What time do you think it is? Okay, here is your new time. Hit that pause button. Look at where the hour hand is pointing. Hit the pause button and write that answer down. Okay, here is your new time. Hit that pause button. Write down what time you think this is.
Okay, now here is your new time. Write down what you think it is. Just as I showed earlier, hit that pause button, off you go. Right, here is your final question. Have a look at that. All the hands are pointing to 12. Everything's pointing to 12, so what time is it? What o'clock is that? Hit that pause button whilst you write that down. Okay, now the next video that I will post will be about quarter past, half past, and quarter two. So if you think you're ready for that, then uh, have a look for that video, and you can always jump on that one and do a bit of learning from that. Right, off you go.